Hey YouTube, Meep Magnet here. Guide 9 of our AE2 series. This one has to do with storage buses, what you can do with them, and a little bit about what you can do as far as upgrade cards, and some real actual working examples just of what you can do with them. Um, let's take a look at NEI here and see what a storage bus actually consists of. Let's take a look at this recipe. So we've got an ME interface. We've got a sticky piston and a regular piston. Let's take a look at our ME interface here. And these are relatively cheap. Got an annihilation core formation, a couple pieces of glass, and then four iron ingots. So these are relatively cheap. These are good for an alternative to ME chips. If you're kind of lacking on materials. Let's take a look at what this actually does. Alright, so we've got three stacks of cobblestone here in this chest. And we've got a storage bus hooked to it. Let's, um, let's see what this does. So let's take some cobblestone out. It's three stacks worth. Let's go take a look at our chest. And they've actually come out. So, the whole purpose of an ME storage bus is to turn an inventory into just another piece of storage that's completely accessible by the rest of your ME network. This is actually awesome. Because what you can do is, a lot of you that have mess been messing with these mod packs for a long time know what a deep storage unit is. This particular one is attached to an uh, igneous extruder. It's just making cobblestone, just as an example. And it's dumping stacks and stacks and stacks of cobblestone into this deep storage unit. So what's the big deal there? Well, we've got a storage bus on here. Let's hook this into the network. Let's take a look at the actual number that's in there. 192. And here you can see. 192. So... Very cool. Most of the inventories I've tested, um, a lot of the barrels that I've tested work really well. So those all function. Um, chests. And let's see, deep storage. Yep, so better barrels, they do work too. Uh, pretty much anything that can store an inventory will work. And you can attach these storage buses and it will be available to your ME network. Um, some of the cards that we have here. And there's only three that really have functions here. And we can take a look at those. Um, and at the same time, I'm kind of going to go through some of the GUI functions. At the same time. Uh, this first one is a capacity card. What these do is if we actually put these in. You're going to notice that it opens up all this inventory space. What this inventory is, is it's really a filter. Uh, and that's similar to the, the filters used for import and export buses. So we'll take these out. Our fuzzy cards here are helpful. If you happen to watch the last two videos on import and export buses, this is the same thing. It sorts by the same methods. Um, this follows the same chart that's on AE2's website for fuzzy comparisons. The same logic applies here. So keep that in mind when you're using these fuzzy cards. And this one's a little bit different. Our inverter card. Let's take a look at the recipe for this one. Because this one we haven't actually gone through. So rather than a gold or a basic card... And a redstone torch. This one's going to be an advanced card in redstone torch. Not real expensive. It's there. It does have its uses. I don't like to use these all that much, but sometimes they're a necessary evil, depending on what you're doing. They can get confusing. Uh, and sometimes there's better ways around it, uh, but they are there. So what these do, and I'll show you this in just a little bit here. Let's take and get some of the stuff into this inventory.
Okay, so there was 47 arrows here. There shouldn't be any in the actual the chips. Okay, so we see that's there. Our cinnabar is there. So that's all good. So we'll take note here of our ferrous metal, our cinnabar. We got a stack of cobblestone and then 47 arrows. Now when we take this out, it's going to pull out of the chest. Since we have this set, oops, I did not set that. Let's set this now. We're going to set this to filter for those four items. So everything in the chest will be set into this filter inventory. And we can do that easy by clicking the partition storage. The verbiage on here isn't the greatest. It should maybe just say copy or something like that. But anyway, if you click it, that stuff goes in there. That's what's relevant. You can get everything out of here in one shot if you hit the clear config. Same thing. Um, just know that that's there for you. So let's start pulling this stuff out of here. So once we've got this set, and this is a this hasn't been configured, the storage bus at all. It's pretty much brand new. We put that on there. We can throw this stuff in here. And there it's all back. So we've set this as an affinity, so it will fill this chest first by default before it starts filling the chips. Since we have this configured, it will try and fill this inventory first. So what does this inverter card do? Well, exactly the opposite is the idea behind this. So we put that card in. None of it goes in. Depending on if you have chips or if this is the only available storage you have, or you've filled up your chips, it's going to push to this inventory first with this inverter card in there. That's the whole point of this. If we take this out, this is still empty. Let's take your cinnabar out, arrow. You can leave that cobblestone in here. We'll just use this. And then our ferrous. Since I put that stack back in, that's where this ended up. But we can go like this. And they all end up back there. So, we've set our affinity here for these four items. Um, the cobblestone's kind of a, the big deal. Let's click these out of here. Because what we're going to do now is we're going we're gonna to modify this deep storage a little bit. So, right now this is set to... Only extract. Now, we've got this set here, so our filter, and this inventory knows I could, it can only accept cobblestone, because right now we've got it, it's, it's full of cobblestone, you can only get one item in here, so that's how these work. This doesn't necessarily need to be here. Uh, I put it there, it's just, in my mind, it's good practice to know what you've got going where, so I just, I always put this stuff in here. If we set this to bi-directional, we can insert items and take them out now. Before this was set to extract only. Well, I've switched this to bi-directional. So what's going to happen here is let's take note. So we've got two stacks of cobblestone in here. And just for the sake of showing a little bit of the math, let's shut this servo off. Wait to see what else is actually coming in here. Just go like that. Two oh five two seven four. See if that's reflected. Okay, so a little bit of a discrepancy here. Let's take a look at here one more time. 205, 274. Okay, so that would that would account for these other two stacks here. Okay. So 205, 274, let's put these in. Or we'll just put the one stack in. See how it didn't show up in here? Let's run back over to our deep storage. And here we see this has gone up by a stack. So, rather... Then these two being uh, splitting the inventory, 
Right now, one has more of a priority than the other. Now, the deep storage unit is the one I hooked up first, and I've, I've assumed that's how this has worked for a long time, and I, I haven't seen where it, it hasn't worked like that, but the first one always has priority, except for your ME drives. If you, if you specify an inventory with a storage bus, it, it seems like it always has priority over drives, so just keep that in mind. So how do we actually get this? Let's say we want to fill up our chest first. How do we make that happen? Well, if we look at our GUI in here, you'll see up in the top corner there's a priority button. If you give that a click, you could set this to any number that's higher than the storage bus on the deep storage. So let's set this to, we'll just say 10. Whoops, excuse me. We'll set this to 10. We'll go back over here just to verify. Okay, this is still set at zero. We'll leave it at zero, that's fine. It's not a big deal. And okay, so we've got two stacks and then one. Just to double check. Okay, we've got this set for bidirectional. Start pulling some cobblestone out of here really quick. Okay, and then we'll put it back in. And it should have showed up in this chest. Okay. So that's what priority does. Now, if we fill this chest up, our AE network should be dumping this back into our deep storage. Okay, so we're almost there with these in. We need four stacks. No, way more than four stacks. Okay, so this inventory is full. Okay, I'm going to pull three stacks out of here. Let's see what our numbers look like. One, nine, eight, five, five, five. And there we go, the other three stacks. So once the one inventory is full, it'll switch over and it'll start filling the other one up again. So that is pretty much it for storage buses. You can absolutely use them early game. They are pretty awesome to work with. If you have chests across your base and you just need to keep that stuff, or you have better barrels with a whole bunch of stuff in them that you just don't have the chip space for, you can absolutely hook in a storage bus. So, but that's all for now. This is me, Bang. Talk to you later.